Good morning fellow YouTubers. Welcome to the Daily Digestion channel. And yeah, it's early in the morning. I haven't even washed my face and I've just got a lot on my mind. Yesterday, this is day 22, wait, day 23 of my vlog. I did a 21 day raw food challenge. Yesterday was day 22 and I ate way too much cooked food. Well, not too much cooked food, but I ate a lot of cooked food and I just really noticed how it slows my digestion down, of course, because everybody knows that cooked food slows your digestion down. So today we are going to do a 20, we're going to do raw food all day excuse me so this morning I woke up and I've had my iodine I mean I have not had my iodine I've had the lemon water but my face is puffy it's swollen like I just do not feel my best um, I was in town a lot yesterday breathing in a lot of carbon monoxide I actually, when I woke up this morning, I had a metallic taste in my mouth. Um, I don't know if it's from the chemtrail spray or from the gas stations because I sat in a gas station parking lot for a while. Who knows? It may be from all the cooked food slowing down my digestion and being in town and breathing in all those heavy metals, carbon monoxide, all that stuff. I was in the store for a little while, uh, you know, the formaldehyde that's on everything guys there are toxins everywhere so that being said it's a raw food day I'm getting back on track in the raw food and I have decided to do cook food until I feel like it and then raw when you know I I'm good to go okay so today I'm starting out with some grapes I was really hungry first thing when I woke up. I want to eat. I'm not going to deprive myself of food. Um, I just wanted some, some energy. I wanted energy from the raw food because it totally gives you energy. And there's nothing like it. And the cooked food, it gives you energy, but it's super slow to digest. And that bogs you down and weighs you down. So, yeah, uh, today also I want to talk about resentments. Uh, Dr. Norman Walker um, wrote about this in, in his books, um, the Raw Vegetable Juice book, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, if you have not read that, you need to. He is one of the raw food pioneers. Uh, in the Becoming Raw book, they mention him. And Ann Wigmore, he is like one of the first pioneers for raw food, but he also did some vegetarian diets as well. Um, but um, Dr. Norman Walker, he is just, he talks about resentments. Um, when I had my bicycle wreck, and I fell, fell and I had my organ prolapse one of the things I realized is that I had had resentments and they were inhibiting my healing process and he talks about that and when we have resentment we resent what we have done and we basically can't let that go and we can't forgive ourselves, so we can't forgive other people. It's kind of like that universal karma thing. So, you know, and the Bible talks about it too. You know, forgive others so that your Father in Heaven will forgive you, your sins. So, I mean, you know, it all goes together. And we have to let go of the past, of the mistakes that we've made. We have to let them go and we have to release them. And we have to be positive about that that's what we did because that's all we knew how to do. And yeah, we made some mistakes, but
but now it's time to move forward and change those mistakes. For example, I totally resent the fact that I ate so many foods that I should not have eaten yesterday. And, um, you know, that was not a good idea. So now where I am in the process is I'm going to change it. I'm going to, you know, not eat the cooked foods today. I'm going to eat some um, not so cooked foods. I'm going to eat raw food all day. So I'm changing it. I'm not going to just stay in the raw food phase. I mean, the cooked food phase and just be like, okay, I'm not going to accept the fact that, yeah, you know, I made some mistakes. I overindulged on the cooked foods. I resent that, you know. So resentments are huge. But I'm going to go on and uh, let's get into it. Okay, I'm having some um, cantaloupe and some honeydew melon. Just a little bit. Okay, guys. Back to the daily digestion. Um, here's what I'm eating. I'm eating some more melon. And uh, just, yeah, I thought I would just go ahead. I ate the grapes. Gonna eat some fruit throughout the day. I'm just gonna totally eat fruit all day. Some really super great digesting fruit for the great energy. And yeah, so that's basically what I'm gonna do. And then um, and get busy, do some yoga, get some housework done, get her done, get it done. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, just came out from working in the garden and um, came in to drink some water. And I'm going to do some bucko drops. I had my iodine and the bucko drops are what the kinesiologist told me to take for the formaldehyde that had for some reason gotten my kidneys so he said to put 24 and so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then drink this water down this water and I'm going back out in my garden to do some work so yeah let's get into it Oh, I also want to mention that using baking soda on your teeth, like you could just take a little tiny bit and put it on your toothbrush. Um, basically what it does is it changes the acidity in your mouth to an alkaline state. So even if you do like a baking soda rinse, but I like to put a little bit on it, my toothbrush and just, you know, go around in my mouth not too hard and you always want to use a soft bristle, bristle toothbrush like that's really important and of course using coconut um, coconut oil is a great way to um, to help change the acidity to an alkaline state in your mouth because actually cavities aren't so much caused from the um, it's not so much caused from like sugar and all that stuff it's from the acidity that builds up in the mouth. So if you have an acidic mouth and body and stomach, then you're gonna be more prone to get cavities, but kind of putting the baking soda in there, that helps to cut down. And of course, eating alkaline rich foods, like raw foods. So yeah, raw foods for the win, people. Raw foods for the win. And I just wanna say, like after eating the grapes and the melon, and the um the melon um i was really hungry like i just wanted to eat but you know what i was like i think i'm really thirsty so i started drinking some water and i'm not hungry anymore so yeah water for the win You gotta drink your water, people. Hello, guys. It's time for a late lunch. It's 1.35 and I'm gonna eat some watermelon 
and it is so sweet like it doesn't look sweet because it's seedless and it's like not as red but it is so sweet and so crispy and so perfect like it's really hard to get a perfect watermelon but this is by far the tastiest mmm so good and I'm so thirsty from eating all of that um, cooked food yesterday okay so um, starting some new vitamins this is vitamin code raw B complex um, I'm really really trying to start taking B vitamins for nerve transmission and these are really really good they're, they're raw and they're not really high in vitamins but they are 100% raw so I'm gonna start taking these and uh, see what happens um, they have no fillers they're non-GMO, um, gluten-free. Uh, you know, I think they're real, they're a whole food. And um, also, it's, it says with this one that you can take it with or without food. So, I just took a little bit of a nap after eating that watermelon, and it really helped everything to digest a lot better. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go to the post office, mail some clothes off to my son, and then go pick my other son up. So, yeah. And I'm almost finished with the iodine book. This is a great book. If you have not read it, it will help you to take the iodine and learn more about it and why you need to take it. Um, it's an excellent book. It's a good read. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here so I can get back and finish uh, trying to get some housework done, which seems like I can't get anything done, but that's the way it is sometimes. So here we are again at the park and it feels great. I'm so glad that I d decided to go on a 15 minute walk even though I've got low uh, battery on my phone and it's just kind of been one of those weird days like I talked to my dad and he's just like Dawn you need to really get your act together you know, made me feel like total crap. I thought I had my act together. And then, on top of everything else, I make the best video on my raw food challenge, day 21, and it was day 15, and I freaking erased it. So, yeah, the best video on my raw food challenge was totally trashed I'm like okay yeah <laughs> so now I'm here and it's great and I don't even care I'm like, who cares, you know? Who really cares? I mean, I came here to pick my son up for a cross country. And it is so beautiful out here. I mean, absolutely gorgeous it's a beautiful day it's just I don't know it's gorgeous look at the sky you know 
I mean, you know, our parents, they have a huge effect on us. The things they say to us. And my dad was right. Like, that's what really got to me. Because I'm a parent, and I know what he's saying is true. And it just really cut me to the core. So, yeah, it left a real bad taste in my mouth. But that's okay. Because I'm actually going to try to do what he said to do. Because I want my kids to do what I suggest for them to do. But there has to be a balance, you know. Hi. Because God comes into play on these issues. So, yeah. hello. Yeah. But check this out. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my God. Like the colors of the lighter trees is just beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, this is breathtaking. But yeah, I'm gonna walk for uh, 15 minutes. And uh, yeah. And you know, after I ate that watermelon, I ate that whole thing. And I was so stuffed. Like, I couldn't hardly breathe. And I was like, why did I do that? And then I was like, oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. This is so pretty. And I was just like, why did I do that? Why did I eat all that watermelon? And then, like, so I had to go lay down. And I was like, oh, I had to go lay down and stop. And I ended up falling asleep. Then I felt like total garbage when I got up. But you know what? I was tired. I needed that. I needed that rest. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous out here. Like Norman Rockwell painting to the max. Huh. This is beautiful. So beautiful. Well, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and soak in some of this gorgeous scenery and do my walk do some deep breathing on my walk for 15 minutes and yeah I worked out too hard yesterday and I've been kind of sore and groggy all day but hey at least I'm getting in my workouts and I'm feeling good so let's keep trucking let's keep trucking so yeah let's go isn't this beautiful <sighs> I mean, it just makes you want to take a breath of fresh air. This is gorgeous. This is where my son comes out here to run. He's a freshman in high school. And they're just now starting their cross country and uh, meet because cross country practices. And they come out here to run. And it's really nice. It's cool. And it's just beautiful. Like it really is. It's gorgeous out here. I mean, just the reflection on the water of the oh, it's just it's just amazing. Of the sun and the light is just beautiful. But this tree right here, this is the one that really got my attention for some reason. I don't know why. I just did. It's so pretty. Okay, fellow YouTubers, um, welcome back. Um, tonight, I'm just going to try to eat raw. I'm sticking to my plan. And um, I've got some mango. And it's not quite ripe. 
and I'm having the traditional salad except this time I've got kale on there but everything else is the same got tomatoes avocado onions carrots and some sweet peppers so I'm going to mix all of this together and that is dinner this is dinner tonight so yeah going raw for the day okay um i chopped one banana put a little bit of maple syrup and i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on here to make like a little pre-fruit dessert to curb my appetite so this will be really satisfying and I think that will be enough for t this evening I'm really trying to heal my digestion from yesterday I'm still feeling a little uh, just a little tender after eating too much food yesterday Um, this is leftover from last night. I added some curry, green pepper, and um, tomato. So I added just a little bit of extra stuff and threw some curry in there. And it kind of made like a little curry stir fry. And it's not very much. It's probably about a cup and a half. Got black beans, rice, corn, curry, chopped tomato, chopped green pepper, and white rice, and chili powder. 